All right, let's go ahead and factor this one by grouping. So that's going to give us a 4x squared plus 0x minus 36. And that's always plus 0x, right? Yeah, it'll always be plus 0x, meaning that the two factors of that last value have to add up to 0, which is convenient. I mean, they always will, as long as that's a perfect square. So 36, which in this case now is our C value. Oh, no, so not... you can factor out the 4. That's correct, actually. Um, like, if you factor out the 4 first, then do you... Let's continue this way. <clears throat> So we got 4 times 36, that's 8 times B. 4 times 36, 20, 144. That's what I got. So the two factors of 144 need to add up to 0. Uh, that would be negative 144, technically. So we're going to make that 12 and negative 12. So we're going to split 0 up into 12x minus 12x and we still got the 4x squared and the minus 36 so factoring by grouping looks like we can factor out a 4x here which gives us x plus 3 and then minus a 12 from these two that would be plus and that'd be x plus 3 as well so we end up with x plus 3 times 4x minus 12. But we can't forget to factor out a 4 from these two. So that would be x plus 3. And if I factor out a 4 from these two, then I'm left with x minus 3. And this would be the final answer. So yeah, that goes back, uh, and I'm glad you brought that up. If we look at the original... We could have factored out a 4 from both of these, which would be x squared minus 9, both of which are perfect squares. So we got 4 times x minus 3 and x plus 3. Same thing. <laughs>